and you and I, we're both from... We're both from small towns we are. in the United Kingdom. You're from... Gloucester. A, yes, but yeah. a particular village called Brockworth. Brockworth right? in Gloucester, yeah. yeah. And is, there's a peculiar event that happens every year in Brockworth. Yeah, to my shame, every May Day, uh, the local uh, women, men and women chase a lump of cheese down the hill. Oh, <laughs> I've seen this. You've seen yeah. it? I've seen it. I didn't see it. I saw it every year as a kid and thought it was just very normal, very <laughs> natural thing what to people do. do. They're doing this everywhere. It's what people do. And then I was in L.A. Uh, early on in my career and I turned on a TV programme and it was called, like, Foreigners Are Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I... And suddenly, here in Gloucester, in Brockworth, and I saw the whole thing unfold in front of my eyes and I realised how crazy it was to chase cheese down at... Almost like a completely vertical It's incline. like a circle one. Roll yeah. yeah, it they rolls roll down. The big stuff, but people get really seriously people injured, don't they? People are killed every year. Yeah. Oh, every it's a great way of thinning out the herd. <laughs> uh, Sometimes it'll go down, you'll, someone will just get, like, smashed full in the face yeah. by a huge There's round a of lot cheese. Of cider. That's the one... There was one fatality one year and it wasn't anyone coming down the hill. The cheese bounced off into the crowd. <laughs> Oh. What a way! What, what a, a way, way to go! go though. It's what he would have wanted. It's... <laughs> <laughs> She's related, Dad. David, have you spent much time in the United Kingdom? I have to say, I don't ever really go over there. I went twice, uh, two days. I went oh, right. Once, just to promote uh, Grown Ups, uh, and then before that, Tommy Boy in the old days. And when we went yeah. over there, you know, did that make it over there? Did you? I don't know. If you yeah, yeah. of course it did. But we, me and the other guy in at Farley, we went there and we went on the Concord. Wow. <laughs> Remember the Concord? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they should bring that back. And then we went there, got there in about 12 minutes, and <laughs> then we thought we were famous. It was so gross. It was sad. <laughs> what been do on, you mean? We were on Saturday Night Live for about, you know, six months. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, what if we're super famous? <laughs> <laughs> and then I kind of go, is that possible? He goes, I think they get the show over there. We've been on it three times. And so we wore a hat and glasses at the... Dowchester or some hotel? Or yeah, Dorchester. 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 So we go, let's try it. Like we were the Beatles. Yeah, let's be incognito. And so we walked around like this, and then nobody cared at all. And then, <laughs> so then slowly the hat comes off. And it's off. And then I think we ate at Planet Hollywood or something. <laughs> Anywhere like, to get recognized. One of yeah, our yeah. finest restaurants. In like Straight. a Saturday Night Live T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Embarrassing. And now, so I didn't know this uh, about you, but you were a, you were a goth. I as was. A, as a teenager. Oh. I was. You were a full... But you, did you wear all of the, the full goth clothes? I had, I had the, the full thing. I had feathers in my hair. I had a pair of jeans. <laughs> really. I had a pair of jeans that were more whole than cloth, if you know what I mean. <laughs> they were so shredded mm. and they were dangling. And I, they, they, they became so disintegrated by, you know, time and sweat and music that I had to stitch the, the crotch together with safety pins. Wow. Because, but there, obviously there's a lot of, I'm not bigging myself up, but there's a lot of strain on the, yeah, you know, on the sure. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and one time I was crossing a very major road in Ulster, in, between Stratford and Navin and Ulster, and right in the middle of the road, one of them just pinged open. Wow. And entered my left testy. Oh. And um, I essentially did like a river dance in the middle of the <laughs> of a major road. Right, I didn't know a river. For that one moment, I lost my goth cool. Oh, uh, yeah. My future, the future of my children was compromised by steel. <laughs> Although I do feel that could be the future of river dance <laughs> if it was performed only by goths. <laughs> it would be kind of With amazing. pins in their nether regions. Well, that's a different show, but, yeah, for sure. <laughs> David, have you ever, ever had any clothing choices that you fully committed to? Uh, up till about present day, I... Uh... All bad. I, <laughs> and, and I grew up in Arizona, which is yeah. boiling hot, and it was always, like, cargo shorts, uh, K-Swiss, no socks. Those alligator shirts with the collar up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just for, Smooth. like, wind resistance or whatever. <laughs> and then the hair fully blow-dried. <laughs> and basically any outfit that girls didn't like. I would... That's, any just girl towards outfit, that. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't famous, nothing happening, nothing clicking. <laughs> So now I got, yeah, someone goes, where are these pants? And I'm, okay, so I need, definitely need help. <laughs>